Hello my YouTube friends. There are a lot of Mac users looking to live stream and one of the biggest hurdles is capturing your desktop audio. Obviously you need to capture your desktop audio if you're going to stream guests, play any internet files like YouTube videos, or grab audio from a game playing on the system. Yeah. I know it's a Mac, but some people might want to play games on it and maybe even stream them. So let's get to it. My analytics say that 80% of the folks that watch my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? If so, let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. It's totally free. This is possibly one of the most asked questions I get from Mac folks who want a live stream. So this video is long overdue. Now the process is pretty easy if you take it one step at a time. The first step is going to be to download and install the free tool that captures the audio. In the second step, I'm going to show you how to configure your Mac to capture your desktop audio using this new tool. In step three, I'm going to show you how to configure OBS to grab your desktop audio. And finally, you're definitely going to want to watch till the end because this creates an interesting situation with controlling your system volume that you need to know about so that you understand it and know how to adjust to it. Now, I know it sounds like a lot, but if you follow along, you won't have any problems at all. So this is step one. First thing we're going to do is download this software. The link is in the description to this downloader and you just click this download installer button right here and you're going to put your email address, your first and last name in here. Now Black Hole hasn't sent me all kind of spam or anything from this so you don't need to really worry about that and you just click the subscribe for free Mac download. It's going to send you an email and here we are in our email. We'll just click this link, it takes us to this web page here and we want the Black Hole 2 channel version 0.2.9. Just click on that and it downloads it to your download directory. Now we're going to right click on the download and we're going to click open. It brings us up to the introduction page. We're gonna click continue and then continue again. And this brings us up to the licensing agreement. We're going to click agree and then install. Now you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put in your password for your computer and click install software. And it's going to take a few moments and fully install the black hole package on your machine. All you have to do is click close and then you can go ahead and move to the trash, the actual download file, or you can keep it. The choice is yours. And that concludes the full install of the black hole package. So we're going to move on to step two. So we're going to open up Launchpad down here. And what we're looking for is MIDI. It's in other. So when you open up your launch pad, you're going to see all of your files and we're going to select audio MIDI setup. So you just click on that and it brings up this audio devices menu right here. And we can see the Black Hole 2 channel is already listed there. What we want to do is go down to the bottom left and click this plus and we want to add a multi output device. And there we go. Now we want to have multi output and built in output selected, but we need built in output at the top. So we're going to uncheck the Black Hole 2 channel and that moves built in output to the top of the list. Then we want to select built in output and then select Black Hole 2 channel. This is the order that you want them in. You want built in output and then Black Hole 2 channel. And once yours looks like this, we're going to go over here and right click on multi output device. And then we're going to select use this device for sound output. Now, if we go up to our volume control and we click that, we can see that our multi output device is selected. And you're also going to notice that your sound output does not have a slider bar. So you can no longer adjust your volume. If you love the live streaming content, you can really help me out by clicking that thumbs up button right down there. When you do, you make YouTube share this video content to a wider audience and that really does help me out 
and it makes my cat Dusty super happy too. So thanks. Here in OBS, all we need to do, I'm gonna click plus and I'm going to add an audio output capture. And we're gonna call this desktop audio and click okay. Now we need to drop this down and we wanna select black hole two channel and click okay. So now we are capturing our desktop audio. And just to show you, let's start a YouTube video and you can see in the audio mixer, we have our volume coming from the desktop and we can adjust this volume any way we like. And I do mean any audio. This this will capture anything that plays over your speakers, including alerts and chimes and all that sort of stuff. So you may want to turn that off before you go live streaming, because like I said, desktop audio captures all your desktop audio. And when you go to live stream, anything that plays over your desktop audio is going to play over the live stream. And this is going to take us to our final step, step four. If we click our sound here, you can see we cannot adjust the volume. But if I select internal speakers, I can adjust the volume and then I can reselect the multi output device. So if you find that your audio is too low, this is the easiest way to adjust that. You go into the volume, you select your internal speakers, you adjust the volume, and then you go ahead and select black hole to channel again. Now, the ideal way to work this is to just leave it on internal speakers when you're just using the computer for daily use and change it up with the correct volume already set in internal speakers to the black hole two channel once you're ready to stream. But you really need to keep in mind that when you change over to black hole two channel, you can no longer control the volume level by going up here. So whatever you have your internal speaker volume level at, that's what it's stuck at. You have to select internal speakers to adjust that volume level and then you can go back to black hole two channel and it will use that new volume setting. See, I told you if you followed along, we'd get through it. If you want to see the easiest way to add guests to your live stream, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.